Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Province Day on January 30th, 2021. This Province Day is for all of us here in Wisconsin in Epsilon A, Region 3, and this includes five chapters here in Wisconsin. So we're very, very happy to be here today, and I have um, a few thank yous to give right away as we get started. I'd like to give many, many thanks to Chapter Zai, who is hosting this program today, um, President Ali Romandini, Grace Halloran, and Helen Threlkel um, are on the committee, and they have been um, assembling all of our uh, all of our recordings today. We hope everything goes off without a hitch, but we'll be a good sport if it, no matter what happens. Um, I'd like to welcome the five chapters that are here in Wisconsin. Uh, as I said, Zai is hosting us today. They are in Appleton and they are from the Lawrence University. Uh, Ali Ramondini is the president here. Um, also, there is Theta Iota chapter uh, in Platteville, Wisconsin, and their president is Keely Liskey. Uh, they hosted us last year, and we had another wonderful program. Uh, then there is the Rowe chapter in Madison, Wisconsin, and Abigail Phelan is president there this year. Also in Madison is the Madison alum chapter. Martha Stoner is president. And in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, the Milwaukee alum chapter has president Tammy Ennevold this year. And so welcome to everybody, and we're so happy um, to think that we can all get together uh, in this very unusual circumstance, but we're going to make this work, and it's just going to be a memory we will <laughs> not ever forget. Um, so I'd like to do a little of the business first, if we can do that. I have a letter of welcome here and greetings from our regional manager, Amy Truex, and she has asked me to read this. Uh, good morning, ladies of Epsilon A province, and welcome to Province Day 2021. I am excited to, uh, for you to share a day of sisterhood with the sisters of Epsilon A. Your planning committee, along with your province officer, have spent a great deal of uh, motivation and inspiration. Even during this time of uncertainty, be certain of the love, the support, and opportunity SAI offers to each of you today and every day. We welcome you all. Uh, Vita Brevis Arts Longa from Amy Truex, SAI Region 3 Officer. Uh, Region 2 Officer, I beg your pardon. <laughs> She's Region 2 Officer. Okay, so that's the first greeting. We all have some other videos, I think, as the day is going along. Um, one of them uh, would be, I imagine, from our President Leslie Odom Miller and maybe a second video on why should you join an alum chapter, uh, which once an SAI, always an SAI. So let's see, what else? Okay, some more business here. There are some more dates coming up. Um, I would like to thank you all for having your reports. Uh, almost always on time. A few reminders here and there, but that sneaks up on me too. So I'm, I'm very grateful when you get them in close to time. Uh, it goes to Amy, and then it goes to Nationals, so uh, keeps everything working nicely if you can keep everything in on time. We do have a couple more deadlines coming up in March, which is, you know, just a few, you know, four or five weeks away. Uh, the war awards and scholarship uh, applications are due in March. This is a time for you to take advantage of what SAI has to offer you. There are awards and scholarships which are not even applied for, and you could certainly make a decent application and, you know, try to, to get these awards. They are there for you. That's what we do. Um, so uh, toot your own horn and make <laughs> do your awards as best that um, you can apply for. Uh, now, the next deadline coming up very quickly is the committee. You have to select a committee for new officer nominations. And that would be in February, which is just, you know, around the corner in just a day or two. Uh, that sneaks up on me all the time. So uh, when you get home, try and take care of that business and get the ball rolling. 
as we remember, last year rather vanished from all of us. So we want to make sure that we've got everything under control this year and it goes much smoother, transferring from um, the uh, old board into the new board of officers. Okay, we have, um, I'd like to thank you too. You have been ahead on everything of recruiting and pledging. Uh, great job getting your recruiting in place. And I think there may be actually some pledges uh, joining with us today in this Zoom meeting. So I'm very happy. Uh, somebody let me know if there are some pledges that are with us. Thank you. So today is going to be just an incredible experience, another first for SAI, certainly for me. Uh, the communication technology available today makes us not only a possibility, but a reality. And for our Epsilon A Province 3, uh, Epsilon A Region 3 on, for our province day is what I meant to say. And so we can continue the work for SAI and we can have a really great day. All right, let's see. If there's any more business, I'm sure we'll get to it as the day goes along. Um, so one of our uh, reasons for Province Day is getting together and also sharing information. Our commitment to lifelong learning uh, makes our Province Day always so exciting and so interesting. And I am very excited today uh, about the theme that Zai has chosen for us this year. Uh, um, Imagine Sound Communities, and when you even say Imagine Sound Communities, uh, many thoughts pop into my mind. Um, I did a little looking on this to see, okay, what could this possibly be? And it sounds like a fantastic, cutting-edge topic. Sound Communities could be a sound pursuit of gathering like-minded communities. So I have been so uh, lucky to be involved with those who uh, people who love music as much as I do. I have uh, had the opportunity to sing in many choruses and each chorus has a different purpose and a different sound. Church choruses don't sound like opera choruses. They don't sound like community choruses. They don't sound like symphony chorus. Uh, they don't sound like small ensembles or even solo work. Uh, so, and, and as my role as an adjudicator in the state of Wisconsin, um, I do vocal adjudication. I have found out that each person has their own musical sound. All good, but each different, each special. And whose sound are you supposed to sound like who sounds like you and I imagine we all should be aware of when to sound like someone else and when to be your own particular and special unique voice I'm looking forward to hearing some comments on that later on uh, music has been such an important part of my life as long as I can remember my life has been so enriched by the community uh, friends who share my interest and indeed my passion for music. One of my favorite experiences was partnering with my friend Monty, who is a composer. He let me sing his love songs. They were very mushy love songs and very pretty. Uh, we expend, experimented many times with our performances and one of our unique um, experimentations was uh, having me sing the the song that Monty wrote while he at the same time was um, speaking the poetry that he had written completely different poem and also he played uh, the piano and accompaniment while all of this was going on and we uh, were very um, thought we were very cutting edge while we were doing this performance uh, Monty would have absolutely loved this province day where everything is virtual he has uh, not with us anymore, but he would have been very excited and I think of him today, too I'm positive that each of us has our stories and memories that attest to the sisterhood and our friendships and our personal and our professional support Because of our association with Sigma Alpha Iota 
I am really looking forward to Dr. Julie McQuinn's presentation on the topic of imagining sound communities. I imagine this will be a wonderful presentation. Sigma Alpha Iota has been a supportive community for me. Not imagined, a not virtual community, but a tangible and loyal and personal community. I believe we are going to see an invitation to our national convention, which will be held in the summer uh, in 2022 in North Carolina. Uh, please make every effort that you can to attend this national convention. Once you have been with the sisters uh, from all over our country, you will see the bond of community and what uh, the real experience through our national and international association with Sigma Alpha Iota, what it's all about. Uh, it is a very uh, special, uh, special time. Um, one of things that we come home with every convention is that when you hear 2,000 women singing um, the SAI chorale, uh, you will, you'll never forget that one. That is a bonding that you will always carry with you in your heart from now on. Remember, even if you're not in college anymore or an active in college or in alum, you once an SAI, you are always an SAI, you can come to the convention. So hope you will start making plans for North Carolina uh, in the summer of uh, 2022. Now, also today, I'm very excited to listen to a presentation from Mrs. Lee, Leela Pertle. Uh, uh, Leela is the um, wife and of uh, the head of the um, Lawrence University Music School, Brian Pertle, and she will be giving us a presentation on deep listening. I am thinking about mindfulness. I'm thinking about being responsible to be mindful. I'm thinking of with itness. Did you hear that term? Uh, really hearing the words from what others are speaking to, out loud to you. What do they really mean? Uh, while we must be responsible to really hear the meaning of what is being said, we must also, if I can say this, be discerning about the voices that we listen to. Some voices are good for you and some are not. We need to be mindful about the truth of what we hear and what is good and what is right. As musicians with our love of music and for so many years as a performer and adjudicator, I will be listening to evaluate if my own listening skills reveal an honest standard of musicianship. So again, I would like to welcome everyone to Province Day. We are looking forward to an excellent day and seeing each other at our musical best. Thank you so much again, Dr. Julie McQuinn and Leela Pirtle for sharing your expertise with us. I would also like to acknowledge the excellent advisors for each of our chapters. For Zai, Catherine Walby and Nora Lewis is assisting her. We're so happy to have you together here. Uh, from in Platteville with Theta Iota, I'd like to acknowledge Heather Huckleby and Matthew Gregg. And Roe in Madison, Paul Roe, <laughs> spell different, and their new advisor, Dr. Julia Rottmeyer. Um, I'm, we're so grateful for your guidance, very much appreciated. And again, thank you, Zai, for hosting Province Day in 2021 under these exceptional circumstances. SAI is the real, living, ultimate sound. We do ask for wisdom, excellence, and skill as we go forward with malice towards none, with charity for all, and firmness in the right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.